Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So overnight we had rain turn to snow. We were in a blizzard warning. It's still snowing right now. I don't know if you can see in the snowflakes. It was blowing so hard that all the snow was coming up on here and those are my doggy tracks <laughs> from the dogs. We did clear off a little spot here. The dogs can go out. Back over here you can see that there is quite a bit of snow. You got a few inches. And uh, we got our little suit feeders out there for the birdies. We get a bunch of flickers and blue jays that come here. You can see it's pretty windy still from our little whirly jigs. So what better day to work on crafts is today. Yes, it is freezing. It's like 28 degrees right now. I have a project that I've been working on for the past couple of days. I did get it finished this morning, so let's go ahead and check it out. I'm going to be doing some toll painting on wood. Now I cut out this cute little bunny. This is her body. It is from One Inch Pine. I did this on my scroll saw. I already had this oval base and I have two arms that I cut out of plywood and they're going to go like this. This is her head. It's just a two inch round ball that I already had. And I also cut out some ears that I'll be attaching with some wire that's out of the plywood. This is a pre-cut heart that I already had. And I already had these tulips too. And they're going to go on top of the base. So I do have all my holes drilled everywhere that I need them to be. Now let's get started painting. I'm going to start with her body. I'm using Wedgwood Blue. And since she's going to be a 360 degree bunny, I'm going to make sure I paint all the sides. If I was making something that you would just have facing forward only, I would probably leave the back just a solid color. But since you want to see her whole body all the way around, we got to make sure that we do that. So I'm going in between the legs here and I'm making little ruffles down here by her feet her little jumper and it will probably take me two coats and I do like to sand in between my coats. Now the base is going to be Seminole Green and Leaf Green. I'm going to use the Leaf Green for the very top oval shape up there and the Seminole Green is going to be on the sides and the bottom. Again I will be doing two coats and sanding in between them. The next thing I'm going to paint are my tulips and I'm using crocus yellow. And for some reason this paint is really thin so I probably might have to do three to four coats. And I got these tulips many many years ago from Hobby Lobby. And also the heart too. I don't even know if they still have these tulip shapes. The next thing I'm going to paint is the heart. I'm using Gypsy Rose and this is actually going to be a little balloon. It's a heart shaped balloon that she's going to hold. And it'll probably just take two coats of this color. Now the bunny herself is going to be with light ivory. I've already done my sides and uh, the back or the front side of my bunny. Now I'm going to do the back sides. I'm going to be painting the feet, the hands, the ears, and I will be also painting her head with the light ivory. And I'm trying to go really careful along the ruffle area. Now
Now the last thing I'm going to be painting is with a leaf green. I'm going to paint the top of the base. And later on I will be floating on the seminal green on top the, the edges of the leaf green. Now let's get some details on the body. The first thing I'm using is blue mist and I'm just taking my stencil brush and I'm just lightly stippling along the edges and I will do this on both sides. Now the next thing I'm using is Liberty Blue and I'm going to be floating around the edges and the way that I do it is I just put some paint on my paintbrush, I dip it into some water and I just go lightly along the edges and I'm also going to outline her legs right here. And then right there I rinsed out my brush and just have some water on here and I'm lightly moving the color around. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more of the blue. Go up the edges a little bit more. And kind of blend it in right here. I'm trying to soften this area too. And I'll go up this edge also. All right, now that that is done, I'm taking the color latte and I'm going to be doing that same technique and I'm just going along the feet here on the edges and the ruffle part right there. Okay. I'm also going to be doing it on the hands and on the back side of course. Go ahead and get the other hand done. All right, you know what? I just realized I wanted to paint the arms yellow with that crocus, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and take some of that gypsy rose and I'm going along the bottom part of the feet. Just doing that same technique with the putting the paint on that's watered down and then bring some more water on it to blend it in. All right, so now that that is done, I am going to be taking some pink frosting and I'm just lightly stippling just on the front side of the balloon just on this one area here and I'm going to kind of rub it in with my finger also. And then I'm going to be making some flowers on the body here with that pink frosting and my finger. We're going to do some finger painting. You can do this with the end of a paintbrush if you want to but I'm just going to use my finger. Just going to go along and make a whole bunch of little finger dots. Oops, that one got a little off shape, but that's okay. You know, they don't need to be perfectly round. These are going to be flowers, and you want to make them different sizes. I'm going to do this side too. Now I have let the flowers dry, and I missed one little step. I forgot I was going to do a little bit of a highlight with a blue mist along the Liberty Blue, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done real quick. I'm doing it the same way with the watered down paint. Now 
Now let's do some more finger painting. I'm going to be taking my pinky and dipping it into the Gypsy Rose color and going over the pink frosting dots. Again, you can use the end of a paintbrush if you want to. Now, I like to do these either in the center, off center, just kind of mix it up a little bit. Some of them big, some of them small. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm taking some white paint using one of my bigger stencil brushes and I'm dipping the end into the paint and putting it on top of the Gypsy Rose. So I'm gonna get all of these done and then let that dry. And then I'm going to be painting on some little leaves. All right, so I am using Seminole Green and I'm using one of my smaller brushes and I'm just painting on three leaves randomly around each flower. I'm going to hold it here. Maybe you can see it a little better, what I'm doing. All right, so that's how that's looking. I've got all of them done. I'm taking some apple green and a thinner paintbrush, and I'm just making a little line down the middle of the leaves, just to kind of highlight it. And sometimes they get a little too thick, which is okay. I'll just take some of the Seminole Green and put it on top just to make it a little thinner looking. All right, so that is done. I am gonna go work on the ears real quick. I'm gonna do a floating again with the Gypsy Rose. Just get both ears done. Okay. Now let's work on the tulips. One of the tulips I'm just leaving yellow, so I'm gonna set it aside. This one I'm just gonna put some little dots on it using the end of my paintbrush with the light ivory. All right, that's it. Now I wanna do the same thing on the little heart balloon with the light ivory, just make a few dots. And the last thing I'm going to do on the body here, I've got all the sides done, and I'm going to be doing some speckling with my toothbrush. I have an old toothbrush I use. I dip it into the light ivory, and I'm just going to be putting some little speckles on here. And I will be doing some of the flowers on the sides too. Now, the last thing I'm gonna work on is the head. I'm taking some of the Gypsy Rose and some of the pink frosting, and I'm lightly making some little cheeks on here. So I got the pink frosting on first, and then I'm gonna add some of the Gypsy Rose, and then a little more of the pink frosting. Now I need to make the nose. I'm gonna be using golden brown. I'm gonna make a little bit of a nose going down to a mouth. So I'm just gonna make a V for the nose. Bring a line down from the V.
And then I'm going to make a little bit of an oval shape down here for the mouth. All right, I've already done the eyes, the eyebrows, and I put a few little whiskers on here. So this is her head. And let's go to those arms. I got them done. I was just doing the same thing using the light ivory and making the dots. And I, as you saw, I did do the edges of the arms also. I gotta get the rest of these dots on and then we will be ready to start assembling the bunny. All right, so here's all the pieces. I'm gonna be using E6000 and I do have some, like I put a dowel rod in the bunny head. I will be drilling a hole there and on the foot and the base and have a little dowel rod and it's gonna get glued like so. And the arm's gonna be using the E6000 and I'll glue them like that. And the ears are gonna be wired on and later on I will drill the holes in the head for that. And unfortunately, I needed to have a four inch straw hat, which I cannot find anywhere. This is a six inch one that I got. I don't need the top part, I just need the brim. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to use this one because we gotta have our hat on there. I may have to piece it together to get it to go on. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is work on the base. Now you can see I have the, bu the bunny here all clamped. She's ready to go. This is gonna have to dry for a day. You can see I have some wire here. This is gonna be for my tulips. And I do have my dowel rod in the base and I did drill a couple little holes because the wire is gonna be glued up into the tulip. Go ahead and cut this off. Let's do another one here. All right, I'm just gonna use some hot glue. Just gonna press it in there. Okay. Let's get the other one done. Then I'm gonna take a piece of the dowel rod and I'm making little twists. This is for the stem of the tulip. And they're just gonna get hot glued into the base. Just like that. Push it down a little bit. Okay, let's get the other one done. Hot glue it in. Okay, that's how the tulips look. Next, I'm gonna be working on the heart balloon here. I have a hole in there, and I'm just gonna pull that through there, twist it. I'm gonna cut it about that long. I'm gonna take my dowel rod, do some little twists. Then I need to work on the ears. All right, let's go ahead and get the wire through the ears. And these don't have to be very long. Cut it off right there. And let's get the other one done. Then I'll, we'll be gluing the ears to the head and get ready to start the next day. So here we are the next day. Everything is all dry. And here's how I did the hat. It's in two pieces. I did the best I could with it, but that's okay. It's gonna get covered up mainly. So I have some of this trim here that I gathered 
and this is her collar. And I just glued that hat brim on with the uh, hot glue. I'm gonna also hot glue the little collar on. And of course we gotta put the balloon on there and she's also gonna be holding a little basket. First thing I'm gonna do is get this collar glued on. It's gonna put a little glue on the front. I'm gonna pull it back underneath the hat brim and I'm just gonna glue in the back. Let's tack it down. All right, and I'm also gonna tack down the hat just to make sure it stays down. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the little heart balloon put through the hand. And I'm just gonna twist a little bit on the dowel rod here and cut off the excess. All right, now I wanna work on the little basket. I'm just putting some Spanish moss in here. And I have these cute little eggs. I got these many years ago at Hobby Lobby. They're little ornaments to put on a little mini tree. And I think I'm gonna use, I think I wanna use the green. I don't think I wanna use this pink. It's kinda of like a hot pink. I'm doing more mauve and, and pastel pinks. So let's do the green. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off just in case I decide to use it. But I am using the blue and the yellow for sure. Get all these cut off. And whoops, I'm gonna just hot glue these in. Yeah, I think we're not gonna use the pink. All right, let's go ahead and put some hot glue on the eggs. And I don't remember where I got these baskets. I have uh, a few left. I used to make these little bunnies when I worked at the bank for a lot of people for Easter. So I bought a bunch of these little baskets and the hats. And unfortunately I used all the hats, the four inch ones. So but I still have uh, maybe three or four more of these baskets left over. And I'm just attaching it through the hand with some wire and just wrap it around the handle. And I'll be covering that wire up with some ribbon. I'm gonna make a little bow there. Let's try and get this attached here. Okay. And I did add my little ribbon here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use this reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree, if I can get it open. <laughs> there we go. And I'm gonna hot glue some of this on around the head. It's gonna get it all pretty much covered up. And then I'll be putting flowers on top of that. I'm going to do it on the sides a little bit. Okay. And we'll put a little bit down here. I think it'll look kind of neat to have a little bit of this moss around the tulips. Plus it covers up that little bit of the hot glue from when I glued those on. Okay. Now I'm going to put some flowers up here. And I have this little bunch of roses here I got from Timu. Also these little white flowers and I want to put some yellow in there since we have yellow on the arms. So I have these little berries I'm going to stick in. I think I'll put a little white flower right there. And use that lighter pink. A little more of the yellow. And some more of the white. Oh, actually it's the, I forgot to use the little pieces of green that came off that flowering bush. 
and put that over there too. But I am going to be adding some more white flowers in here. And we'll put these little white berries that came off that flowering bush also. I'm also going to be doing the back here. I have gone ahead and got most of this done. It's kind of hard to do it on the camera from the way I have to hold it, but I'm on the last few pieces on the back, so I thought I'd show you how the back was looking. Let's tuck, tuck something in right there. And just another little white flower. There we go. How about another one? And one right there. I'm trying to fill up these holes. It's used some more of the yellow too. And one more piece right here. All right, there we go. Looking pretty. Now we gotta put something on the collar. So I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of ribbon here that I tied together in a knot. I'm gonna hot glue it right there. I have this cute little ribbon flower. Uh, I think I got it from Walmart. There's a package of them. I'm also going to use a couple of the yellow berries. I think we need some more yellow here. And of course, everything comes off. <laughs> All right, stick that there. Kind of play with the ribbons things here. I'm going to cut these off. Let's figure out where to put the yellow berries. These ribbons just aren't cooperating with me. All right, got everything fixed. Let's get those yellow berries on. And one more over here, perfect. All right, there she is. There's my cute little bunny. Let's see how she looks from the back side. All right, let's go check her out. I put her in my cabinet. I'm just gonna kind of get some close-ups here. I thought the white background would be the best to look at. And let's look at the back side. All right, my sweet friends, that's going to do it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up from everyone. And also, I could use your help. I need to name her, so if you have any suggestions, please leave me a comment down below. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.